Schönen guten Abend. Hallo. Guten Abend. Hallo. first song was called If I Had My Time Again. It was written on the Deutsche Bahn. <laughs> and, um, you have a lot of time to think and to write songs when you travel on the Deutsche Bahn. And this next one was also written on a form of public transportation. Many, many years ago, somewhere between Memphis, Tennessee and New Orleans, 
And there's another name for New Orleans. It's also called the Crescent City because it's shaped like a crescent. And that's the name of this next song, Crescent City. <laughs>
so uh, that was in the States, somewhere between Memphis, Tennessee, and New Orleans. This next song was written in a hotel room in Clarksdale, Mississippi. I was in Clarksdale many years ago for a festival, for a blues festival, and one evening I was invited to go and play with a guy called Big Jack Johnson. And for those of you who may not know, Big Jack Johnson was a very well-known and respected blues guitar player and singer from Mississippi. And when I was invited to go and perform with him, I quickly ran back to my hotel, grabbed my guitar, and head to the venue. Now the venue was a place called Red's Tavern. Red's Tavern was right next to the railway tracks in Clarksdale, Mississippi. And when I got there, I thought, this can't be the place. All of the windows were broken. There was bits of wood covering them. There was three or four rusty barbecues out the front. But I looked around. There was nothing else there. So I tentatively pushed open the front door. And then on the back wall, there was a flashing Budweiser sign. And I knew I was in the right place. <laughs> so in the corner there stood Big Jack Johnson, so I walked across to him, I shook his hand, I said thank you very much for inviting me. And that evening we played nothing but blues music, stuff like, uh, like this. <laughs> And in Clarksdale, Mississippi, they don't just play two 40-minute sets. They play from 10 o'clock in the evening until 2.30, 3, 3.30 in the morning, till people can't dance anymore, till the musicians can't play anymore. And that's exactly what we did that evening. Every now and then, Big Jack Johnson would look across at me and nod his head. That meant I could take a guitar solo. was going great and then all of a sudden halfway through the concert there was an interruption a big bus had come from Memphis Tennessee to Clarksdale Mississippi it was the Gibson guitar company bus they would come all the way because they wanted to give Big Jack Johnson an award the Lifetime Achievement in Blues Award. And the guy that presented him with that award that evening was a guy called Morgan Freeman, the famous actor. So here I was on stage, standing next to Big Jack Johnson, standing next to Morgan Freeman and thinking, <laughs> you shaved? <laughs> you shaved? Morgan Freeman gave Big Jack Johnson a brand new Gibson guitar worth about five or six thousand dollars that he only played for one song and then he played his old guitar for the rest of the night. <laughs> Back we went to it. And sure enough, it got to 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning, people couldn't dance anymore, we couldn't play anymore, and we played our last notes and head back to our hotel rooms. Except when I got back to mine, I was still too excited to go to sleep, so I took my guitar out again and I started writing this next song. It's a song called Highway Life. It's about the joys of being a musician, getting to travel the world, playing in places like Clarksdale, Mississippi, and Bremen, Wegesach. <laughs> I hope you like this one. This is Highway Life. <laughs>
still get a hold of you, but the only hole is God's pain blue. Bending around from town to town, doing the best I can do for you. But I want to live it, and I ain't got to be nowhere. Out here and the time is now on this road that I can. I'll never be a highway line Don't lose myself in a slim white line It's a highway, a highway line It's a song called When I Lean In. Against your skin, 
Feel the warmth against my brow I set my nose in To the crook of your neck That's a place that I love best And even though the wind it may blow to the trees It ain't blowing you back to me That much I can see Oh, when, when I lean in and nestle against your skin, feel the warmth against my brow, I set my nose in to the crook of your neck. It's a place that I love best. your skin feel the warmth against my brow I set my nose in into the crook of your neck cause that's the place that I love best So last November, I went to a very small town called Drangstedt <laughs> with my band from the Netherlands. And we locked ourselves inside this wonderful little house for two weeks. And after a few days of technical problems, we began recording our brand new album. And the album is basically finished. It's being uh, mixed and mastered at the moment and it will be released later this year. And it's available for the next 24 hours as a pre-release order on my website. But the reason I mention it is I'd like to play some of these new songs for you this evening. And this next one is a song called Back Road and it's one that's gonna feature on that new record. I hope you like it.
song was inspired after watching a documentary, um, a documentary about a homeless fellow living in Chicago. And after watching this documentary and hearing this man's story, I was very taken by his story and I wanted to write a song using as many of his sentiments as possible. And. Um, he talked a lot about what it was like to live on the streets, to have to beg every day to get enough money to eat, or enough money to get a, ho uh, a room to sleep in for the evening. And the hardest thing he said about being homeless was not living on the streets. He said the hardest thing was that people no longer treated him with respect, they no longer treated him like a human, and that they would look through him and basically just dismiss him the longer he was there. So I was very touched by his story and wanted to write um, this, this song. And one thing he said many, many times throughout the documentary was, it ain't easy, it ain't easy. And that's the name of this one. Thankful stays. 
You don't know from where I've come Yet you look through me, God no one When kindness looks me in the eyes That's a faith keeping me alive And it ain't easy No, it ain't easy It ain't easy It ain't easy it ain't easy, no, it ain't easy, it ain't So if it's okay, I'd like to play another one of these new tracks that's going to feature on the new album. It was recorded in the rock and roll village of Drangstedt. <laughs> it's where all good rock and roll records are made, ladies and gentlemen. Somewhere in between Cuxhaven and Bremerhaven. It's the rock and roll capital of the world. <laughs>
Danke schön. So I think I'm going to play one more song and then we can take a small break. Um, as I mentioned before, I have some CDs. Eine Schallplatte. Eine neue DVD. Ich habe auch ein J. Mai Faulkner Einkaufsbeutel. It's very important. Also am Montag, wenn ihr einkaufen geht, Jemal Faulkner Einkaufsbeutel mitnehmen. You'll be the coolest person in Wegesach. It's perfect for Lidl, Aldi, Nord und Süd. Rossmann, DM, Biomarkt, of course. So, uh, I'll see you over there at the uh, merchandise stand. Do you like rock and roll? Do you like rock and roll over here? Yes. Okay, that's good. I'm going to play a little rock and roll song now. It's a song called Coming Home to Your Love, and there's a little thing in the middle that you might recognize something of. So uh, let's do this thing.
neighbors traveling south with my feet they're playing and down Taking time from all I knew and then From far flats on I can see your face You call me like that soft summer rain Far flats on You keep me guessing Oh, you always keep me guessing People's got me weaker than me Took my time, ain't no need to hurry up. Counting distant from the dream. Feeling I ain't tasted sweet since you knocked me off my feet. Oh, what a trip from five flats on. I can see your face, you call me like this soft summer rain. Five flats on, you keep me guessing. Oh, you always keep me guessing. Babies got me weak at the And they would 
truth that we had unspoken Superficial like a salesman's grin instruments all evening thinking, when is he going to play those? <laughs> now is the time. Um, I'd like to start with this wonderful instrument. This is a, a slide guitar called a Weisenborn. It was originally invented by a guy called Hermann Weisenborn. This particular one is made in Queensland, Australia by a very uh, great guitar maker and luthier. Is it time? <laughs> so I'd like to play you the first song that I ever wrote on one of these slide guitars. It's a song called Drink My Wine from my very first album. Won't 
drunk a warhead and drank my wine Sweet, you're gonna lean on me in the darkness of despair. For we have traveled so much more than I thought that we would, and I don't want to leave things here. No, I don't want to leave things here. <laughs> Seems to loosen on my ears And to rid myself of habits I would rather to forget I have traveled so much more Than I thought that I would Yes, we've traveled so much more Than I thought that we could Won't you breathe it in and hold it for As long as you can you come inside and stay a while? Won't you go ahead and drink my
kind of like the closest thing you come to meditation while playing uh, an instrument. I also wrote um, another song on a new album that will be coming out later this year on this guitar and I'm going to play it for you now. This is actually the first guitar that I ever bought with my hard-earned money. I was living, well, I, I just moved out of home when I was 18 years old, moved into a share house, or a VG. <laughs> and um, it was good times. I started working my first real job at a music store in Melbourne, Australia. And there's nothing worse when you're a musician than working in a music store because all the money that you make it goes back to the store. <laughs> and that's exactly what happened to me. The very first day that I started working there, I saw this guitar hanging in the corner, and I thought, okay, I need to own that guitar. And uh, I thought about it all day, and then I went up to the boss at the end of the day, and I said, look, that guitar over there. I would like to buy that guitar, except I have no money. <laughs> and it's very expensive. Would it be okay if I put $50 a week on the guitar until I've paid it off and then I take it home? He said, no problem. So that's what I did. 
for weeks and weeks and weeks. I paid fifty dollars on this guitar. <laughs> the problem was, this guitar is very expensive, <laughs> and fifty dollars a week, it wasn't going quick enough. So I had to think of another idea to be able to make some more money. So I got myself a second job, working as a tally marketing person. Do you know these people that call you at home and ask you many questions? Do you have them in Germany? Yes, yeah? of course. That was me. <laughs> so, I started working there, and, and that was not a great job, but it meant that I could earn some extra money, and I was paying $100 off this guitar every week. But the, uh, the problem was this guitar is very, very expensive. <laughs> so even $100 a week wasn't going far enough. So I thought, okay, I need to get a third job. So I got myself a third job working on Saturday and Sunday mornings at a local cafe called the Kaleidoscope Cafe in Melbourne, Australia. Now, the job started at 6 o'clock in the morning, and the job was washing dishes. Now, that's not a very nice job, and it's even worse when you're 18 years old and you're going out drinking beer with your friends till 5 in the morning, <laughs> and then you have to quickly cycle your bicycle back home, have a quick shower and then ride to the cafe, and of course on the way you start to feel worse and worse as, as your hangover starts to grab a hold of you. And there's nothing worse than when you've got a hangover than scraping off bits of leftover egg and breakfast into the bin and washing dishes, but, you know, the things we do for love. And of course then, I was able to pay about $150 off this guitar each week, and then, of course, finally I paid the whole thing off and took it home. But as any guitar player in the audience will know, the next day I walked back into the music store and there was another guitar hanging out there. <laughs> <laughs> the process started again. So. <laughs> I think up until now I have about 25 guitars. Oh. <laughs> um, some people say it's a disease, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so anyway, I'd like to play the very first song that I wrote on this lovely guitar. It's another song that features on my very first album. It's a song called Hold On Babe. <laughs>
down long For I ain't seen her for a while If she was in trouble I'd so be there She walks in and she knows that it's gone Hold on now, babe There's something I've got to say I've done you wrong Done you wrong Hold on now, babe There's something I've got to say I've done you wrong I've done you wrong Hold on now, baby. So now I've got to say, well, I've done you wrong. Well, I can't go back. Hold on now, baby. So now I've got to say, I've done you wrong. Done you wrong. released a new single and you can listen to it for free on Spotify and on Apple Music or you can buy it from Apple Music also and it's doing really well. Um, it's another song that I recorded in the Rangstedt <laughs> and in two weeks it's had 350,000 plays which for Justin Timberlake is not so good <laughs> but for a guy like me that's very good so uh, I'm very happy with that. And I'd like to play you uh, this song right now. In fact, I think you can also hear it on Nord West Radio. I think they play it as well, which is very nice of them. <laughs> this is a song called Early Morning Coffee Cups. <laughs> Chasing 
chasing, I've been chasing, I've been chasing A place where I can find my peace In all the while It took me around the world to see you where I need to be Oh, 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 It took me around the world to see you where I need to be Well, I'm sure you guys all have days at work where you think, oh, what am I doing this for again? And I consider myself very lucky. I think I have one of the greatest jobs that you can have. Um, but even I have days where I go, oh, what am I doing this for again? And this next song I wrote to remind myself of the very moments in my life where I thought, yes, I want to play music for a living. Yes, I want to learn to play the guitar. And one specific situation I describe in this next song is when I was about eight years old and my father sat me down in front of the record player in the lounge room. He put on these big headphones on my head they seemed big at the time anyway. He then took out a vinyl and put it on the record player, took the arm across and put it at the start of the song. And the record was a record by a band called Dire Straits. <laughs> the album was Brothers in Arms. In fact, there was one of these on the front cover, if you remember. And the song that blew me away was a song called Money for Nothing. When I first heard Follow That Bar. Along in the room, oh, when you'd walk in, you'd lift up the arm, and the song it would start yet again. Such excitement I felt, and I knew right away that this would be my path to the end. Oh, when lately I've been pushed by the weights of the world. Oh, and I by the love of the song Oh, and lately I've been Pushed by the weights of the world Oh, and I by the love of the song yeah. And I hope you can turn me around Sleep to the sounds of the wall, such imagery I'd yet to see. In the colors of swirl of those big inner sleeves, they came dancing out into the air. Oh, back then I was goosebumps and lumps in my throat, and playing in front of the mirror. Oh, but somewhere along I lost sight of the answers, and my message became unclear. Oh, and lately I've been pushed by the weights of the world Oh, and I by the love of the song Oh, and lately I've been pushed by the weights of the world Oh, and I by the love of the song 
been spinning round for days. I've seen the writing on the page, and it don't feel good to me. I wish I could find another way. Throw back my hands and say, I wanna be free. So ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out tonight, and it's lovely to know that people will actually come and see me play in Bremen. <laughs> I did actually live in Bremen for two years, and uh, I miss it from time to time, I must say. And um, it's nice to be back, and uh, I hope you had a good time tonight. Did you enjoy it? Well, I'm going to finish with this song here. It's a song um, that I'd love you to sing with me. <laughs> it's very easy, and uh, everyone in Bremen has a very, very good voice. So <laughs> it's very easy to sing. All you have to do is sing in my father's boots, boots, boots. Yeah. It doesn't get any easier than that. You got it? Yes. In my father's boots, boots, boots. Yeah. Perfect. And it goes like this. In my father's boots, 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 yeah. In my father's boots, 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 yeah. Now yeah. <laughs> it's Saturday night, everyone. Come on. In my father's boots, 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 yeah. In my father's boots, 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 yeah. Feel better. <laughs> all right, so when I say sing, you guys start singing along with me, all right? Here we go. Well, I can never fault the man to me, he was perfect 
His boots they wore some scars, but underneath the surface he was a man who loved, nurtured me a former king, loved on me like his own father did. In my father's boots, 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 yeah. In my father's boots, 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 yeah. Oh, in my father's boots, 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 yeah. In my father's Trace my steps to count them loose. That's when the old bear come from the In my father's Oh, in my father's Oh, in my father's boots, 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 yeah. In my father's boots, 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 yeah. Oh, oh. since September and tonight was my last show for at least a month so uh, I'm gonna take a little break after this one and you guys have been an awesome audience so thank you very much <laughs>
I will be touring at the end of the year with my band. Same music, but with bass, drums, keyboard. So uh, keep an eye out for that. I'm going to leave you with this song. It's a song called In the Morning Light. She goes.
you very much, everyone. Have a lovely evening.